as affiliate marketers, we are looking to find that product or series of products that are going to really transform our lives. We're going to make an amazing income from them. We're going to serve people. We're going to help people. And we're going to make a difference in people's lives. That's what's really important to me, at least. But what happens when a company offers you lifetime commission? They say, promote my product or service, and it's going to be a recurring model. So this is very common in the software space where there is a monthly recurring revenue. So every month, the person you've introduced to the product is going to make a subscription, automatically paying that company on a monthly basis. And in return, that company offers you lifetime commission. But what happens when the person stops using that product? Obviously, you lose that commission. And in the software industry, this is called churn. This means that people are going to churn out of the business and your income potential, your income is going to go down and down and down. So we have to be very aware of this as affiliate marketers that when we are promoting a product or service, in this video I'm going to talk in the software space because it's something I have a lot of experience in, is that if the product that you're promoting, if the software is actually substandard or if it's good enough but not as good as the competition, you're going to be fighting that battle on a monthly basis because people will jump ship. They will go for that new piece of software, that better functionality, that better customer service, whatever it might be, they're going to move on and you are going to lose that monthly commission. So now you're caught in a situation where you need to find more people to go in to address that churn. Because if a company has a churn rate of 10% per month, you're going to burn through your 100% of customers over the course of a year. And you know, you're constantly going to be finding more and more customers. And dependent upon the commission that you're earning, and your cost to acquire that customer, this can eat into your earning potential really, really quickly. And I've seen this in many, many different companies. And I'll give you an example of my own personal experience quite recently. I bought a software online. I saw it was an AI piece of software and I'm very much interested in AI. So I purchased this software and there was an upsell and I purchased the upsell. So then I got access to the software and I started to use it and I found it was really, really inferior. Okay, it was really, really bad. And it came from one of the popular um, affiliate networks. I'm familiar with it, I won't mention its name. But um, it came from an affiliate from that network. I purchased the product, got access from the company who made the product, and I started to use it. Found it was really, really bad. It was image generation, and it was like a Picasso picture of a face. It was distorted and pulled. And I gave it a very, very simple prompt, looking very, very simple output. And it was really, really bad. Okay, so I said, and the software came with a 30 day money back guarantee. So I then said, I'll avail of that 30 day money back guarantee. And I reached out to the company via their support channel to actually get my refund. And I was offered multiple different versions of other software that they had in compensation for this inferior product. But I'm in the software space for a very, very long time. I'm a technology geek. And I know that if a company is producing one really bad piece of software, chances are that's their attitude towards their entire suite. Or they could be in a development phase, but I'm not prepared to wait while they sort out their problems. I want my refund and that's pretty much it. But going through the backwards and forward process with that company, what ultimately happened was they said their PayPal account had been disabled by PayPal. But why would that happen? That happened because my view is at least that they released that software, people were not happy, people wanted a refund, they closed that PayPal account down. I then, as the customer, had to open a dispute with PayPal. Now, fortunately, when I buy software online, I use my PayPal account simply because I know if I use my debit card, that money is gone. Now, you have some chance if you have a credit card that you can get that money back with the credit card, but I know PayPal will open a transaction dispute and they will go through a resolution process. It'll take 10, 12 days and they will fall on the side of me. So the point being that that poor affiliate made all that effort, energy and spent money because I went into a paid for ad. He spent all that time, effort, energy and money to get me to buy that software. I purchased the software and the software was bad. And on the other side of that, I'm looking for a refund. So I have to wait for that refund. I, hopefully I will get it. But 
as you are going on your affiliate marketing journey, what I really want you to think about is that experience. Because if you don't do your research thoroughly on the product, on the company, make sure that the company has longevity, make sure that the product has a market that is happy with the product. Um, you run the risk of being that affiliate marketer that has spent all that money on Google ads, paid Facebook ads, TikTok ads, whatever you spent that money or you spent the time, effort and energy building up an organic audience and now you're damaging your reputation with that audience. So you have to be aware of all of these costs and then the long term customer value, the churn rate, all of these things. So you really need to consider when a company says that they offer you lifetime commissions, what does that really mean? And are you being a, a professional marketer when you are doing your due diligence on looking and evaluating the product? making sure that there is a demand for the product, making sure that the products actually offer a solution to a problem or a proven problem uh, around the world. So these videos are designed to help you to understand the nuances around the affiliate marketing space and to offer you some guidance and support. And this is what I do with my clients and my partners. And there's an offer below this video. There's a link if you want to ultimately have a conversation with me, you can click that link and be brought to a masterclass presentation where I and my colleagues are going to dive deeper into the affiliate marketing space and what you can do um, to bring yourself and potentially your family, if you've got a family, towards success and the lifestyle that you're looking for. So follow the link and I'll see you on the other side very soon.